Clinical trials for a new Moderna COVID-19 booster shot are now underway in Jacksonville, but this booster shot is different. This will be one that's very different than what's on the market in that it's specific for the type of virus that we're dealing with today. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignon joining us live now to explain why this new messenger RNA booster shot is expected to be a game changer, Eric, when it comes to fighting the Omicron variant. Yeah, well, you have to understand that the current RNA booster shots were only uh, programmed to fight against the uh, original version of COVID-19. But this newly reprogrammed booster shot specifically targets the Omicron BA4 and BA5 variants of COVID, which right now are the most dominant variants of the virus here in the U.S. People who have already received their first two initial doses of the Moderna COVID vaccine and a Moderna booster shot only received doses that were designed for the original version of COVID-19. And we're looking at now a second booster that is specific against the BA4 and BA5 variants that are prevalent throughout the United States and other parts of the world. So this will be one that's very different than what's on the market in that it's specific for the type of virus that we're dealing with today. This is why the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research, along with nine other clinical research facilities across the U.S., have begun clinical trials for a new Moderna booster shot, a booster shot that has been re-engineered to specifically fight the COVID-19 Omicron BA4 and BA5 variants. 400 people in Jacksonville and across the U.S. are enrolled in the study. But unlike most clinical trials where half the participants get a placebo and the other half get the actual vaccine. But everybody will get the actual vaccine in this particular study. Dr. Korn says the FDA believes Moderna has the capability of designing a vaccine for new variants of COVID, but... They just want to show that the immunogenicity is acceptable, meaning that you're not getting a lot of other side effects in the short term, and also that you actually promote the right antibody response after you get the booster. Now, that trial started yesterday and is expected to wrap up in the next coming days. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.